Hello everyone and welcome to another How Who Sees It review. Today I am reviewing Dr. Microbe. It is published by Blue Orange Game and it is two to four players. It is the second game in the Dr. Eureka line of games and is very similar in feel as far as what the game is and what genre it fits in uh, to Dr. Eureka. It is a quick paced race uh, of logical thinking as well as a little bit of dexterity again. So uh, let's go ahead and look at what comes in the box, quality of the components, the gameplay, and a discussion of the game itself. So Dr. Microbe, it comes in the same uh, size box as Dr. Eureka. Uh, very nice quality box again. Nice and thick, has a good feel to it. It has the two toned, it has like a, a, sh a shine, uh, shiny sections um, against the kind of matte kind of finish of the rest of the board. Uh, again, it has a window uh, that is a nice high quality thick plastic uh, that allows uh, the people to see the wonderful pieces inside. It has an insert to fit the four Petri dishes for the players, as well as the larger Petri dish uh, that holds all of the different microbes. Uh, it has an area to hold the four orange tweezers. Uh, the tweezers uh, are plastic, um, very nice quality. Um, I, you know, I, with my kids, I, you know, keep telling them, you know, be careful, you know, don't pitch your fingers. Um, also, you know, I met, I was slightly worried. I was like, oh, you know, I don't want them to break them, but they are very nice quality. Haven't had any issues uh, with the tweezers. So that's that. And then of course you have, yes, so this big Petri dish uh, with all the microbes comes with the lid, um, fits on nicely. And there are a bunch of these little microbes. Uh, I think there's 40, 49 microbes, uh, as well as, um, I guess, it, I think that number includes the little virus piece. And uh, yeah, so we have a rule book, as well as some uh, challenge, or they call them research cards uh, in this game. Uh, there are 54 of those. The cards here again very nice quality um, I don't know if they're the same thickness as Dr. Eureka or not it feels like they are if anything they might be a little bit less but I'm fairly certain they're the same thickness um, very nice very vibrant great little artwork uh, to the game the rules uh, the rule book again is very very clear uh, well organized and uh, explains it very well. There are also um, two different kind of variants that are very similar uh, that I'll explain in a moment. But uh, that is what comes in the game. The gameplay itself is pretty simple. What you're gonna do is someone is going to flip over one of these cards and you need to make your Petri dish look like the card itself and then fill in the blanks. Now, the trick about this is you have uh, each of these little microbes here uh, and then you have the large section which I believe they call a super bug. If I remember correctly, yes. So you have the super bug that goes in here and then you have uh, the three different microbes that fill in the three slots below. So, the super bug has to be a different shape than any of the ones on this side of the three microbes. And the super bug also has to be a different color than any of the three microbes. Now, down below, you will have two microbes that are the same color. Uh, the other one must be different. Um, and so this must be different color than either one of these. So the, the logic behind it is filling in the gaps. So the dexterity element uh, comes from quickly uh, snatching up these little microbes with your tweezers. 
And these little microbes are pretty neat, actually, because they're kind of a, a rubbery feel to them. As you can see, I can kind of squeeze it a little bit. So you can actually have a nice grip to them. Um, it also provides kind of an element, you know, sometimes they might kind of hang on to each other or something like that. Um, but anyway, so the logic portion of this, so I quickly try to grab these and you're dealing with, you know, trying to dig through and grab those. Plus you have other opponents with their tweezers uh, trying to, to find them. So first things first, you're gonna try to populate your Petri dish uh, just like the card. So now there are usually um, more than one solution or can be one more solution, uh, more than one solution per card. Because uh, right now I know that I have two different shapes that need to happen here because all the shapes need to be different. But I can have a green here or a blue here and a blue here or I can have a blue one and a green one here. So these could be different uh, colors. So someone could choose to put the green here and another person could put the blue there. And the shapes here can also in their position um, be different as well. So I mean, what I'm missing is I'm missing a blue. So I have a blue one of these guys. That could be my super bug. And then that means the green one needs to be the last shape I don't have, which is the little snakely looking one. And that would be an appropriate uh, solution to that. And I would, uh, oh, do I shout out your doc, or Eureka? I think so, yes, um, Eureka. And if I was the first one to do that and it is all correct, then I win the card. And you can play to any number of, uh, you know, first one to five cards wins. Now, the variants that are included in the game uh, are, you can do a sabotage. So as I'm playing, I could grab one of these, oh, grab one of these little pieces and toss it into an opponent's Petri dish. And that just kind of would be able to, you know, that would slow them down. They're gonna have to, oh, that's not right. They're gonna have to quickly try to get that and put it out. Or they can pick it up and put it in someone else's Petri dish. Um, so that's kind of the sabotage element. So in the original game, you can't steal from another opponent's and you can't add other microbes to their Petri dish. And in the sabotage mode, you can, as well as if you want to play with this little virus, which is very interesting because it's this uh, very interesting shape. Uh, sorry, I probably can't get this quite ready to focus on that, but it is uh, this very uh, ball. It's a ball with all these tiny uh, hemispherical things on it. And so it's not the same material. You can see it's very shiny and smooth. It's a very hard plastic. You can hear it kind of drop there compared to this is just a very soft kind of plastic. And what makes it interesting is it's somewhat harder and could be more uh, likely to drop. So it's a little more difficult to hold on to. Well, with this, uh, someone can grab it from the Petri dish if you're gonna play with it and you pass it, you can put it into your opponent on your left uh, Petri dish. And they cannot call Eureka while this is in their Petri dish. They will then have to pass that to their player on their left to uh, get rid of it. Um, also, whoever, once the uh, round is ended, once someone has completed this successfully, um, the player who has this virus uh, token will actually have to give up, if they have one of their cards, um, to the person who uh, won that round. So that is Dr. Microbe. And I'll just flip over a few more of these so you can kind of get an idea. Uh, so this one is going to be either a, another, it needs to be a green or a red. And again, a different shape. We're missing this squiggly or the thinner kind of sponge looking piece there. Um, this one, again, this is going to be red or blue. And we're missing the skinny sponge as well as the kind of uh, bigger sponge looking one. 
So you kind of get the idea this is going to be blue or green again, and then the shapes all have to be different. So that is Dr. Microbe, another uh, really fun game from Blue Orange. And again, a nice logic element to it. Um, a fun element of everyone going after kind of the same pieces, uh, which makes it fun. You have the element where you kind of sabotage and you get pretty chaotic with this one. Um, with my kids, um, I have very young kids under the age of six, um, and they have enjoyed playing this. This one, uh, the logic, uh, they've struggled with a little bit more. Whereas Dr. Eureka is, uh, both of them, I think, are uh, ages eight and up. Uh, but I think kids younger than eight uh, will latch on to and can easy, uh, do Eureka a little bit easier. Um, as well as Eureka has, uh, again, an easier way of handicapping uh, players, older players, uh, to make it balance a little bit more. Uh, with this one, I just kind of struggled. We just kind of give the kids kind of a head start of like, you know, five, ten seconds, whatever it is. Um, or we'd allow them to put their, you know, piece, first pieces in. Um, but it, very good. Um, challenging uh, the, the minds uh, and logic, logical reasoning and deduction uh, of the kids. And so this is a great family game. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, another really great game. I'm very excited to see what Dr. Beaker is like. Uh, it's supposed to come out later this year. And very excited uh, to see the continuation of this genre of game. And I think Blue Orange Games is just doing a tremendous job. Uh, high quality components and uh, great themes, and I've just been really enjoying it. So that is uh, Dr. Microbe, and that is how Lou sees it.